We grew up in the same hometown our whole lives, but we had never met each other. My stepmom um, has cut Bryn's hair since she was how old? Oh, I, when I was in fifth grade, I started going to your stepmom, so I've been getting my hair done by her ever since I was in fifth grade. Right, so she's... But I didn't know who you were until high school. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. Like, I knew she had a stepson and stuff, yeah. but I didn't know. Yeah, she had talked to I me. didn't know Tanner Ball. Yeah, exactly. Uh, basically how our story kind of starts was my stepmom we were just hanging out in the living room and she mentioned to me she goes you know Tanner there's this really cute girl that I think you would match up very well with yeah she I remember her telling me she, like after we had started dating she was like I mean y'all are literally the same person just like yeah. a boy version and a girl version right yeah and yeah. that's what she told me she was like y'all have super similar personalities and yeah. stuff so uh so she she mentioned to me she was like I've cut her hair since she was in fifth grade, and she's like a sweetheart Tanner. You should you should like reach out to her, <laughs> and uh, I didn't really know like how to go about it or anything. But what's funny is like I had seen Brent on Instagram, social media. You know we're in, we're from the millennial age, <laughs> we're millennials over here. So like I had seen her, and I definitely found her very attractive. Uh, so I followed her like you know, months before, mm -hmm. but I was never the type of guy just to like reach out. And he worked with one of my really good friends at the time. This was the year before we started. You reached out to me. Yeah. And I remember she they lifeguarded together and she sent me a picture of you. Yeah. And she was like, he thinks you cute. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she did. You weren't feeling it, that's no, okay. No, no, <laughs> nothing came of it. Yeah, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't the right time. And I guess it was around Easter time of the following year um, you know, college was about to wrap up for the summer and stuff, and I was coming back, about to come back home. Um, and long story short, my stepmom had told me that you were going to go to UT, mm -hmm. and I had you on Snapchat from where I had added you previously, but we just never Snapchatted. I saw your stories and stuff, but so I actually Snapchatted her. Um, I, snap I, I remember that night. Yeah. It's so random. It's just like I remember that moment vividly. Like I looked at my phone and it was like, Tanner Barr snapchatted you and I was like, hmm. I was <laughs> yeah. like, wonder what he's saying. Yeah, we had never ever talked before. Uh -huh. um, and so I had like the cheesiest line ever. I think I like reached out and said You said something about how was, you were like, so I heard you're going to YouTube next you, year. Yeah, like you excited <laughs> or something like that. Uh -huh. And uh, and I guess it worked uh -huh. because um, it was April and we Snapchatted every day and just like getting to know one another talking about like our hobbies what we like to do mm -hmm. You know high school all that fun stuff and we snapchatted for like a month That's straight cool. Yeah, like a month every day. So this was like a, a week or two before he was coming home and He he asked me out on a on oh, Mother's okay. Day. Okay, it was on Mother's yeah, Day. It was gonna yeah. be on Mother's Day and I had a wedding to go to on Mother's Day right. and it was on a Sunday and I was like Dang, he just asked me out and I, I can't go. I have this wedding to go to and I was yeah. like, he is not going to believe me because one, it's rare to get married on a Sunday. Here we are getting married on Yeah, Sunday. we're getting married on a Sunday. But at the but... time I thought so and then also it was Mother's Day. So I was like, he is not going to believe me. Right. And so I go home and I tell mom, I was like, mom, he's not going to believe me. And she was like, because I told her what had happened and stuff and how I had to go to a wedding. And she was like, Bryn. You're gonna marry this dude, and I was like, "Mom, hold up! Like, I, I, don't even know I, I haven't yet. even yeah. met him yet." Yeah. But my mom, she, uh, when my dad first asked her out, she couldn't go because she had a wedding to go to. Right. So it's just kind of like a weird coincidence. A weird similarity, yeah. But I was like, "Whoa!" But yeah. I wanted you to know that I, I wanted you to take me out. So I was yeah. like, "I can do this day though, or yeah. something like that." I kinda, yeah, I'd love to another time. Oh yeah, I kind of felt like I knew it was Mother's Day, but I was like, "I don't know, maybe she doesn't want to go out with me." <laughs> but I asked her to go out that Friday night instead. Mm -hmm. That day that I picked her up to take her to go to on a date, um, like I didn't know where she lived. She sent me her address and everything, and <laughs> and I came to her front door, not knowing her, not knowing yeah, any that, of her family. The first time we went, met was at my house. Yeah, the first time we ever met in person was on your front porch mm -hmm. at your house where, where y'all live now. <laughs> and he talked to my parents more than yeah. we did at first. Yeah. I was like, well, my parents are talking. To me <laughs> yeah, before. like. It was so funny because like you opened the door, we hugged and started talking a little bit and you were holding Charlie and <laughs> My uh, dog. you heard dog Charlie. Dog. Yeah. A little white flip -flop. A little Bashan uh -huh. puppy. Uh, and then your pa your parents like came around the corner <laughs> and I swear they were like linked arm to arm, like coming around the corner they at me. Were and ready I was to like, go. They holy were ready crap, to go. I was so nervous. 
and we were gonna go to uh, what's what's that burger yeah, place called? The pharmacy, the pharmacy mm -hmm. downtown, which I had never been there before, mm -hmm. and um, we were gonna go there, and we were driving down there, and it was absolutely packed. Yeah, we didn't go there. We didn't end up going there. <laughs> yeah, we didn't go there. But and we wanted a burger. So yeah, we, we, we were craving a burger, keeping burger. it simple. Yeah. And we went to Burger Republic uh, that Friday night, mm -hmm. and we sat there and probably talked for two, yeah. two and a half hours. Yeah. Which They had closed. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know they had closed yet, but we were like, oh, we yeah. should probably go. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So once we graduated college, ever since then, I knew that I wanted to propose but I didn't have the funds for that. <laughs> so I had to start working first, obviously, and uh, started working back in, in October. Um, and uh, I had had different ideas about, you know, how I wanted to propose and everything and try to keep it a secret. Obviously, like my, my family, my intermediate family, they, they knew, um, but I kind of like picked a day in my head. I was like, I think February 1st is going to be the day. I don't know why. I'm just no, he about loves days. numbers. Yeah. He like, cause we were going to get married on September 19th, but yeah. the venue didn't have that day anymore. So we did the 20th and he was like, I like that number better. Yeah. September I just thought that, 20th yeah, just I just thought that number sounded better. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I picked out February 1st as the day. And uh, I thought about different places to uh, propose at. But um, what, where I ended up proposing is actually at her grandfather's house, um, and they have a what's it called a gazebo. A gazebo. Yeah. My uh, I've always thought that gazebo is so pretty. I just my it, my my grandma yeah. called her Mill. She loved that gazebo, so yeah. it, it always kind of held a special place in my heart. Yeah. Picked the gazebo out, and the gazebo was uh, was filthy. It was dirty. <laughs> so shout out to Bryn's dad, Mr. Jim. He cleaned it. He special. He cleaned it up. He yeah. made it look really good. And mm -hmm. uh, and then we, me and Bryn's mom beforehand, uh, strung string lights on it, and hung up a bunch of uh, pictures um, from just the previous past three years of me and Bryn dating and everything, and um, laid out some some roses, rose, rose petals, petals, yeah. Made it look romantic uh -huh. and stuff. and Okay, we listen to rap music all the time. Yeah. You love rap. I, I, love, rap. I love rap too. But anyways, so you just had it on shuffle on the way over there. Yeah, we I were thought we were going to, to celebrate music. birthdays for my mom's side of the family. Yeah. So that's why we were going to my grandparents' house. Yeah. But anyways, so you just had it on shuffle. And out of all the songs you have on your phone, as soon as we pulled up Marry Me by Thomas Rhett came on. Yeah, it did. It was not So that was just random, too. It was it's just weird. Like, it was a God thing. It was. I was already pretty Instead nervous. of a rap song, God knew. Oh, Let's yeah. play them this week. Yeah, the whole time. For this like, moment. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to, like, hype myself up by playing rap music. And yeah. then the last song that comes on right before we pull up <laughs> is Marry Me. And once we pulled up, she knew. I knew because it was all lit up. It was up, all lit up and stuff. But yeah, it we, was sweet. and that's where uh, that's where I proposed, February mm -hmm. 1st. And, but yeah, we've been together for over three years now. Mm -hmm. And it's flown. It's gone by really fast. But it's fast. been so much fun. And yeah, she's my best friend. And I'm so, so excited for our wedding in September. I am too. So. We're getting married. <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got bugs right in my face. Oh, right now. you're not afraid of bugs. Come on. No, man. I'm not afraid of bugs. I just okay. heard. You have a horror story. I got a horror story, story about a bird. Okay. I got attacked by a bird in Knoxville one time, and ever since I'm just like. Whenever you hear something. Oh, yeah, I got attacked.